What's going on guys, Garb Nation back again with another video. Today we're going to be doing another tier list, but this time we're going to be doing it with the UT abilities. And you guys seem to really like our last one. I'm also going to be mentioning that we're going to be doing a subscriber giveaway for four or five different winners. We haven't decided yet, but each winner will at least get two decas. And if we add a fifth, you will get like some random stuff that's will sell for a lot like maybe i'll throw in a shen knight or something but i got an s to, right yeah he'll throw in that and the shen knight and we'll and each of the winners other than that will get two decas i think i said that already but on that how to enter that you'll have to join our <laughs> instagram and on our instagram there will be a post and you can just comment and we'll pick comments from that and you will have to prove to us that you are subscribed by showing us a screenshot or something of you subscribed to our channel. So make sure you're subscribed. Yeah, so let's get into it. We're doing another ranked video today. Uh, you guys really like the, uh, or at least we think you guys like the. Well, no, they did. We got like 13 likes, you know, good views. Yeah, we got some interesting comments. Some of you guys disagreed with us, but I, that's I what like we love that. about it. Hey, if you yeah, guys think we love we're about wrong, this. tell us in the comments. Yeah, we want to hear what you guys think. I might and... not know what some of these do, by the way, and I might just put them in a random spot because uh, based off their looks. And just tell me in the comments what they do or something, if you know. Yep, because there is so many untiered items and we don't want to make this video. And we took a break as well. Yeah, two hours long, and we took such a big break. We're not putting in the newer, the newer on tiers, or or, uh, or yeah, the Wakakashis, because I don't know anything about them. But let's get straight into this. We're definitely not going to talk about each one as much as the classes, considering there's like thirty. They're all stacked up on e top of each other. But I'm going to start with the Jug. That's an easy S because it. It's OP, it looks cool, and it's very rare. It makes gives you the shield. What more do you need? Right. I'm, a, I'm, a warrior. A, I'm also going to put it on the S tier. Yep. Because not only with the Warriors, heavy armor, but with the, also the 10 depth that the Jug offers you and the defense boost that it also offers you, it, you're, you're pretty much never going to die. If you die, um, I feel sorry for you. Now this... I, I, yeah. Is the Skittum. I believe it's very low MP. I'm going to put it in the B class because I know it's really good if you have a pet that you can perma stun with it, but I know there's going to be a lot of S tiers. And you know, that one's just not going to cut it. And I didn't really want to put it in the A for some reason. What about you? Um, I'm going to put Skittum in the B. Same. <laughs> Wait, what'd you put it in? The S? B. Oh, well then, I'm, I'm going to jack it up to A. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no, I'm going to put it in the B because if you have enough for in shield, you're never going to use this gun. I mean, it does get, it does ignore the defense of the target and give you 10 defense, but I feel like if I have a different shield, I'm just going to use the other shield anyways. Correct. But boom. I mean, it only get what? It stuns for maybe an extra second, I think. Yeah. But, Yeah. Ogmer, Ogmer, uh, obvious S. And uh, oh yeah, that's that's obvious. I mean, no it armor yeah, breaks. No it armor breaks. Come on. Right. Yeah, I know. And it's just such a six sprite. Honestly. Whenever you have an Ogmer in your group of people that you're playing with, it's everything easier. It's yeah. It, <laughs> it's just game over. Conflict. I'm gonna put it in the A. I know I'm not a mystic player, but it's like a sick looking sprite. It's a very great orb from what I know. And yeah, it's just an OG item. What about you? Well, if I'm gonna use it to rush around and stuff, then yeah, I'd put it up there, but I'm actually gonna put it in a B class because I mean, it does give you the damaging, but there's so many pallies running around that I'm probably going to get a damage buff anyways. And the speedy is okay. But it doesn't give me the curse. And the curse, is, when they implemented the curse, I, that's when I really fell in love with the, the mystics. Because I could do that extra damage anyways. 
And plus, it's stasis. Is, so without the curse, you really don't have a reason to use it unless you're yeah. like rushing. It's a rushing one. If you're rushing and playing solo, then yeah, it, it makes it really nice. But if you're playing in a group, which most of the time you're playing in a at least 65 populated server, unless you really like the dead stuff, yeah. you know, you're in a group. Okay, the Esburn Skull. I'm going to put this in the A for one reason only. It's a very easy skull to get, and for what it's worth, I mean, that slow is very good on a Necro, and it gives you good, decent health. It's a very good skull, in my opinion. Where are you putting it? Um, I think I'm going to put it in the... Where did where, you put it? The A. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the B. Uh, just like the Scudum, I feel like this thing, uh, if I have a different skull, I'm not going to use it. The slow is nice, but I don't know. I just don't. I just don't see myself using it as much. I'm also gonna put this in the a very nice looking uh, seal. That tower is a very creative idea as well, but it's not that useful unless you're running lost hall halls themselves. To be honest, so yeah. Where are you putting it? The which one? The marble seal? Yeah. I'm gonna put it in the S tier. Boom. Yeah, I like the uh the defensive boost that it grants and and to be honest, I love planting that tower. I got a marble seal and just planting that tower it just feels so cool. Okay, the skull of endless torment torment, I believe it's called. I'm gonna put this in the A. I don't know a lot about it, but I did just hear it. it's basically a Peary if you if you can get four enemies with it and i know it's super rare i've never got one and it's just yeah. like one of the sickest sprites in the games too as well so it's an a yeah you also get a peary so you know dope uh, dope uh, school i'm also putting this one in the a just because most of the time most of the enemies they they shoot out a lot of minions and if you can hit a small group of that minions and you get purified to that's crazy. I didn't even know that until just now. Yeah. Okay, uh, John, do you know what Ghostly does? <laughs> I Ghostly? Don't, so I'm putting You teleport, F. and wherever you don't teleport, or wherever you teleport to, for, or where you teleport from, you leave a little bomb. Oh, okay. I'll put a it in the E time. then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not going to use it if you have a red teleport. You don't tell. Yeah, I'm putting it back in the F. You don't teleport. What? What is the point, okay? Where are you putting it? John. What? Where are you putting it? Oh, I'm gonna put it in the A class, dude. A? I I like Yep. Oh wow. I I like to use it. See, it does I think it's the same MP cost as the uh or it's five more MP cost than the the T zero. So it's basically the T zero. And if I could leave a little bomb to teleport away into safety and they might potentially run over that bomb well i mean that's you know that's a good amount of damage i believe yeah. i mean i don't i don't know exactly but it's probably like 80 or something 80 i think it does a little bit more damage than <laughs> i don't think it does okay. oh, ghost i'm looking at it right now the explosion damage is 320 to 480 and the total damage is about 2400 dollars or 2400 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 2400. That's cool and all, but I can teleport with the red one. So, all right, you can teleport with this okay. one. Oh, you can. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Uh, well, not changing it. No, red, no, no, red quiver. Crazy. Don't know what this thing is. It probably slows. It's from the B. It looks like. It looks cool. Probably shit. Don't know what it does, but I think it slows. And so does every I other think it's the same the entire thing game. As the, yeah, the blue and the yellow one. And they do slow for five seconds. Oh, big whoop. So does every other quiver in the game. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Fuck but, this quiver. It's going in the F. But this one, it shoots... Uh, it looks cool, at least. Oh, it three shots. Oh, okay. I'll put it in E again. I'm gonna put... <laughs> do you put it down so low? <laughs> you gotta be... You don't like, you gotta be you don't like the slow? You're, you get, you're never gonna use it. You're never gonna use an E. Right. I don't know. I in the Lost Halls... Slowing, it's actually pretty nice because 
technically they don't like you paralyzing stuff like that so i slow them and it's a little bit better you know but i do agree i'm gonna put it in the d class i i not only do i i don't really use the archer class very much but i'm not a huge fan of the slow i prefer a paralyze even if it makes people upset i'm a paralyze because i like paralyzing okay i think this one's good I don't know what the fuck it does, but I'm going to put it in a B because that's a safe bet. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what it does. I John told me about three times and I still don't know what it does. It shoots like in a bunch or something. I don't know. It looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. It shoots in a bunch and it it does not look the greatest, I, to be honest. It kind of... I like it. I don't know. It looks flesh and I don't care for the color of flesh. But because of how good it is, I'm going to put it in the A class. I mean, I just put it in the B because it's like, oh, I mean, it's not good. It's not bad. I mean, I don't know if it's good or bad. I don't even know who drops this thing. It's from the Parasite Chamber. This helmet? Fuck this helmet. It's going in the B. <laughs> I what? so many fucking daggers trying to get this helmet. Oh, my. No, fuck. Fuck this. So you, you're putting it's it getting, down no, so it's going low. Into F. It's going in the F. Okay. I don't know what it does, and I don't want it anymore. If I get this thing, I'm feeding it. I'm cursed what? from this helmet. I'm literally cursed from it. You put it in the F? <laughs> Where are you putting it? Dude, maybe Dude, if I didn't get I'll... six daggers instead of this stupid helmet that I was grinding. I'm for. putting it. I'm putting it in the S, dude. Yeah. You get six death for it with six speed. You get to uh, summon bees around you that go and summon. Or not summon, but they go and attack the people that you're fighting. And each, like, some bees have different, uh, different stuff. Like the red bee, you know, a 50% chance of inflicting curse. So that's pretty dope. And you get, they all do damage and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in the S. That's cool, though. But imagine getting six fucking daggers and I've still not gotten this helmet. Well, yeah, but you can't put it so low because yes, you can. suck it. Yes, I can. Oreo. S tier. Yeah, I love it. Oreo. This is self-explanatory. If you play Realm, you know that this thing makes it invincible. Yeah, it makes it and invincible because and it gives you God just, mode, it's it, an autom it S -tier. Looks cool. It's an automatic S tier. Dude. It's an OG item. Yeah. It's an OG item. Come on now. We're on to this shit claw F. Didn't even know why I put this in here. Don't know what it does. Don't know why you'd ever use this unless you're on a... I'll tell you why. Because we needed to add a little bit of variety, but yeah. you're right. It's an F skull. We just, add, we just added it because um, we also wanted to do we, at least two of each thing. And yeah, that, we know what that thing is. Oh, wait, we already had three. Never mind. Okay. Right. QOT. Oh my god, this actually hurts me. I don't know, bro. I'm torn right now. So rare, but it only dazes, you know. It does Fuck it, S. Only because I got two S. of them. And like in an hour so it does not pierce enemies it, it dazes though and look at that sprite oh my god look at that sprite dude i got two in an hour john this thing holds a special place in my heart where are you getting it where are you putting it um i'll put it in the b yeah yeah just because of uh it's good for orcs uh, well you yeah, the, the daze is okay, and I, you know, I prefer to hit multiple enemies at once. I don't like the fact that it doesn't uh, pierce through enemies. This is gonna go in the D. Who the fuck needs mana? You're spending mana to get mana. Is that what the seal does? I have one, but I don't know what it does. Yeah, but you're like spending your mana to give your team a mana oh, you know fuck those guys but I'll, I'll, i'm gonna put in the c it's good in situations but i i also don't know much about it it's, i just i know that I yeah one. it gives I your team one. mana around you c trap a it's a it's it's a necessity on the huntress but then again you should be asking yourself why the fuck are you playing huntress in the first place because huntress is the best class in the fucking game that's Maybe why you're playing huntress. if you're an idiot but that's why i'm putting the c trap in the s tier yeah no i'm not actually doing that oh, oh, I'm, taking shit down for that. I'm putting it in the b tier oh, b. Wow. 
Yeah, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, and, but, but it a does paralyze. It is a necessity, I'll tell you that, because it paralyzes. And it does a big group paralyze, it's not just like a centered arrow, you know? I'm gonna put this one in C, because it doesn't teleport, but I also see uses to this. I know this one doesn't teleport, but it spawns two. And I'm actually, I'm gonna move it up to the B. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you putting it? Uh, I'm gonna I'm put it in the C. Yeah. The only time I feel like it's ever decent is when you want to use it for stats. Because it gives plus 4 attack, plus 4 speed, and plus 4 HP. Okay. Oh, what's this one called again? I forget. Uh, oh, fuck. I, I play this game. Trust me. Fulmination. Fall me. Yeah, this is an A class scepter. It's we're back. Uh, where what were we on? What were we talking about? Uh, fall me. me. Where's your fall me going? So play sword. Uh, I'll put it in E. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Are you done? No, I'll. All right, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. I'll go. It slows. It, it slows and it hits it like hits seven so targets. many guys. <laughs> I don't know how much oh, damage it does, but it I feel like it does a decent amount of damage. I'll put it in C. I'll put it in C. Oh my god, that's disrespectful. I don't care about the sword. What's this one? Is this Plague? Yep. Is it good? Low amount of damage, high uh, range, and it does a long term. To be honest, I don't really give a shit about the assassin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Well, you got all jealous when I didn't say it about the stupid sword. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put the the plague in D. It doesn't do a whole, or maybe it does do a whole lot of damage, but it does it so like it's like 15 seconds or something like that. It's so long. Boom! Planewalker. S. Easy. Teleport as a rogue and invisible. Come on, and it's so easy to obtain. You gotta be careful you don't teleport into the Let's just like a god wall or something. You totally did that with an 8-8 rogue, I swear you did. I did do that, and that's why I'm going to put it at the S tier, because in memory of my 8-8 rogue. Oh. Not like you don't have one now, do you? No, I don't. I got a 7-8 trickster. What does the bloody do? I think he, like, gives you boost your dex and your attack and your speed. It's A. Don't I you have, have a bloody? Yeah, I have a bloody. I don't know what it does completely yet. It slows you for three seconds. It slows you? It looks yeah. cool. I'll keep it a day. <laughs> Where are you? Um, I'll put it in the S. What? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Um, because you get it a, a huge, uh, you're not going to be as mobile or whatever, but you're getting a lot more DPS. Okay. Yeah, because when you use it, you get plus twenty-five attack, dude. Yeah, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of attack. And plus, you're a rogue, so you're already getting a lot of attack. You're doing a lot of damage. A lot of damage. This is the void quiver. I don't know what it does. Someone wants to let me know. It's like a shot. Do it. I'll put it in the B though. Looks cool. I don't know what it does. Never it's a shotgun, one. bro. Don't know what it does. Put it in the B. What about you, man? Um, S, let me guess. Yeah, it does a shit ton of damage, dude. Dude, oh my god. There's so many good what abilities. What does this do? Who even plays the ninja? Because, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm be honest with you. It's it might be good, but I don't play the ninja, the ninja, so I'm gonna put it in the E. I don't play ninja at all. Now, Piri is an S tome for sure. It gets rid of your effects, and that's just something everybody needs in their life. As well as. Yep. Life. I will be putting it in the, the S class as well. Yeah, you're running out of room here, John. That's because every, every item, I, I love all of them. They're also good. This, and... I actually do know what it does. It paralyzes and does a shitload of damage, right? Put it in the B. Paralyzes. It's good if you play the ninja. I never got one, but it looks cool and it's good. What about you? 
This holds a dear spot in my heart. This was when my favorite ninja was alive. I'm gonna put it at the A. It looks so cool. It's one of my favorite sprite items in the game. Prot is another S. It's it's essentially a jug that heals you. I never have got one that in a long time since I can remember. So still an item that I can't get. But if I had one, I would be very happy. So where are you putting it? S. Prot. I will put it. I'll put it in the A. You can still put items in the S, John. You have room for at least like one more. So. Yeah, I know, but actually, yeah, you're right. There's no other staffs. Or, well, maybe the other scepter. So I'll put it in the S tier. It'll probably be my last S tier item. But it, you know, it's it's okay. I like the defense. But I, if I have a Peary, I'm almost gonna use Peary 100% of the time. Okay, Merc. No, is this Merc? No. Yeah, this is Murky. I don't know what it does. It's an E. I think I have one, but it I seriously have no clue what it does. Yeah, I don't I don't know what it does either. So um Let's put it in the E. Yes, sir. No, put it in the put it in the C. Seriously, you don't even know what well, it does. You're nope. putting it a better <laughs> you're putting it above plague. Yeah. I'm looking at it right here and I think it does more damage. Tablet is in B, it's super rare, super cool. Have no clue what it does. Never got one. Probably never will get one. But it has it's a sort of, cool sprite, and it, I heard it does a lot of damage. So, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I didn't see tablet there. Tablet's also an S tier. I'm just gonna put this right here. It's going off the list. Who cares? Yep. On to this thing. It looks like shit. So I can't believe they didn't make that thing slow. I can't believe it either. It's in the. I don't it's know a honey what it does. scepter. That's a you could have made it. That's not a scepter. That's an orb. I mean, yeah, but it comes from the the honey bee, the small little dungeon. You could have made it slow for like two seconds, a small little slow, and it would still have been, you know, cool. But and because it, it does absolutely right. it nothing, ugly. it is an F tier. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's like a golden color. If you were trying to go for like a golden mystic, you know. Now this will go in the S tier. And it is arguably the best scepter in the game. And I think it, yeah, I want to put it in the S tier so bad. It's because I just want one so bad. They do so much damage. And, uh, Fuck the sword, dude. I watched Tawar shit. use it. It's yeah. cool. You're, you're dumb. You're dumb. No, you are dumb. You're dumb. I don't know what Vial does, but it's cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it's good. <laughs> I'll put it in the B. I think it's good. It's probably good. I mean, um, good. yeah, because I like the hunters so much. I'm also gonna put it with my coral venom trap. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it's probably like a, a C, maybe even a D. And I'm gonna put this snake skin trap. Oh, this is a shield. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it in a C, just because it slows, and it's very That's good nice. for early game. It's very good for early game. So does the snake skin shield really slow? I think so. Right? Does it no. Does it slow? <laughs> I'm not changing my answer. No. <laughs> not changing my answer now. Too far in. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing you got your pages up. Otherwise, I'd just be lying to everybody every single time. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a straight up uh, another F tier. <laughs> that's, I'll keep in mind as a tried. C. Oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, that, there's some. There's our yeah. list. Let's uh, make sure to roast us in the comments. Uh, all right, you go. Oh, okay. Well, make sure to roast <laughs> us in the comments. That's gonna be it for the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit up our Instagram link in bio for that giveaway hey, of the deck. Saturday. Tell them about Saturday. Decas. That's gonna be Saturday, and we're also gonna be doing Rocket League giveaway. I doubt any of you realm players do play Rocket League, but if you do, let us know because I've never yeah. met a realm player that does play Rocket League. So, yeah, but it'll be a black market decal giveaway, so make sure it's for PC and Xbox. If you have either one of those, so make sure you uh, subscribe yes, and follow sir. us on Instagram. This is Garmation signing out.